right, today we're gonna learn how to draw the T-Rex. Uh, let's get started. He's gonna be leaning down, kind of like maybe about to eat or something, or inspecting. So, let's start with the T-Rex's head. Very, pretty much the T-Rex from Jurassic World is probably my favorite T-Rex. Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, that T-Rex is awesome. Pulling back over here for the back of the neck. Pulling a little bit forward over here on this side, but right now I'm gonna find the brow right there, kind of above the eye. Then over here, brow on the far side. Out over here, out, down. Pulling down over here, back. Line over here. So it's gonna be the underside of the mouth right there. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And I'm gonna, ha he's gonna have like a closed mouth. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a line right here. Right there for the bottom, like the chin's gonna go back over here. Curve over here for the back of the masseter. I know the T-Rex had one of the hardest bites ever. I think if not the hardest, right? Uh, I can't remember. I keep seeing different conflicting information on that. Does the T-Rex have the hardest bite of any animal on land, I think? Um, or I think, yeah, up over here, down. Curve over here. Don't forget, by the way, hit the like button. It helps the algorithm out. Uh, just uh, really good stuff to uh, just kind of add to. I am nostril right here. I am adding a video a day, so don't forget. <clears throat> Curve back here. I'm sorry, I'm adding three videos every single day. Three, uh, you know, lessons every single day. So request what lesson you want. We'd go over everything over dinosaurs, uh, Sonic. Definitely name a dinosaur, because that'd be pretty fun. Uh, maybe I can draw, even if I've drew, drawn it before, maybe I can draw in a different pose, but name a dinosaur and I'll try to get it done for you. Curve, curve, right here under the eye. Down. So there's something missing, right? What is missing about him? Right here, the teeth. Downward right here. Kind of gives it a much better look. The teeth were like the size of bananas. Cool, cool, cool. So the back of the neck over here is gonna go up into the body. And that's gonna go back. And that maybe the tail's gonna go off over there in the distance. But we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, right here, you're gonna have the line under the throat. I'm gonna pull back. Go over here, line down right here for the chest area, kind of the torso. Curl over here. And Line over here, kind of where the hand's gonna come out, but we're not gonna put the hand quite yet. Well, let's just find the arm already. Line down, right here, line down for kind of the top of the arm. Pulling in, pulling in. Claw, claw. Down over here, down over here, kind of the pelvis area. And it's gonna run into the leg on this side, so. The leg's gonna go downward here, so we're gonna pull down. That's really that, like the knee area, although I heard he didn't really have a kneecap, I heard. I don't know how that works. Back down. Line over here for the calf. It's gonna go back down into the heel area. Downward, downward and into the toes. And if you wanna know what the dinosaur toes look like right there, it's gonna have three prongs out. It basically looked like a chicken's uh, uh, foot, you know? That's pretty much what it looked like. Uh, gonna go back here now, tie up over here, and it's gonna kinda, we're gonna have it kinda like turn a corner over here. So let's go out, right here. So it's gonna, Kind of fold away as it's, it's in the distance, the tail. Let's go over here and find the other arm. I'm gonna pull down over here, down over here. Don't forget, if you like learning how to draw, hit the subscribe, click the bell notification. Um, that is a, you know, 
huge part of, you know, kind of the community. So definitely join the community line, line, curve, curve. Let's go over here and draw the other foot, which is going to be over here. So other foot's going to be, we start around this point, pulling back for the calf, back, down. Down over here to the foot. One nail, two nail, nail over here, up. So that's gonna be the hind foot there. Make that a little bit thicker. And there we go. So at this point, we're kind of looking at this guy and we're going, okay, what are the general details? So the general details would be something like line over, like maybe over here for the rib cage area, right? Uh, curl over here for, for the lats, the latissimus dorsi, um, which is part of the anatomy. Line over here for the neck, maybe fill in the uh, eye right there. Throw in a thin line around the mouth in this area. And just maybe, how about, you know what's, here's a good one right here. Uh, like the folds, folds right here in this area are also pretty important. Folding, uh, you know, throughout any kind of dinosaur is a really big deal because of, you know, whether line in. I know it's a pretty big debate whether dinosaurs had lips or not, you know, but, um, you know, I like, I like both versions of it. Um, maybe throwing in a little lines over here for the feet. You can always throw in little tiny curves of where you think, where you think things might end up. And that's kind of a big, uh, kind of power to this where, you know, you're kind of like not really sure about what's going on here. And, uh, so yeah, just, uh, um, that's, you know, like fill. we're going to go over here and find some dark spots as well. So we're going to go over here. On a dark spot here. Maybe go over here underneath him as well, like in this area, throw a dark line. And we put something dark, it definitely grounds the dinosaur um, you're, you're looking at. So I like doing it here as well. Over here uh, as well. And maybe over here on the side. Side over here, line. Line over here, curve, curve line over here on this side, curve. And think about maybe like, did T-Rex maybe have a pattern on him? Uh, you could always throw like spots, right? Cause this isn't uh, any T-Rex in general. So maybe he had spots or stripes. I know a lot of people like drawing stripes on him uh, like so. Cause it looks more like a predator. Maybe one back here. And you wanna draw them thin because thin is always gonna be better with detail. So when we draw thin stuff like that, it's always gonna look a lot, a lot better. Um, but you can pretty much infinitely go into this guy and just keep, you know, keep on the, on, uh, you know, just kind of drawing. It's, it's, that's what's cool about this. You can kind of keep going on this forever. Right, keep drawing little like tiny nits and scratches and things and this blemishes in the skin. So I want to thank you very much. Um, you are amazing. Uh, let me know if there's another uh, dinosaur that you want to see uh, or uh, definitely like recommend. I can I can do a lesson for one and I will see you in the next video. Okay, talk to you soon and I'll see you next time. Later. Ooh, one last thing if you're still here. Don't forget. We are selling this pencil case. This is an armadillo pencil case. And you, I, what I tend to do is I put in all my, you know, markers and stuff or whatever pens and pencils that I need to sketch outdoors. And I put it literally on my wrist like that, just to carry it around. And the cool part about this is there's a magnet in it. And this literally also straps around your sketchbook. If you don't want to carry it like on your wrist like that, but very durable, been selling it for 10 years. And uh, yeah, 
Very, very durable. So go check that out. That's called that's arm-adillo.com. Arm-adillo.com. Go take a look at it. I will see you next time, okay? See you later.